Well, the lines are pretty steady, but let me just tell you, after talking with people, they are just trying to get to their destination because they just don't know what to expect with Nicole. As you can see right now, it's it's not quiet, but it's also not packed. We're at the baggage claim area, um, but this morning was a different story. Now, look at these pictures. Look at the pictures that were sent to First Coast News by the airport spokesperson. This was at around 11 a.m. I know what you're thinking. Those lines look insane. The crowds, it looks busy. But at around 2 p.m., I looked at the rest of the flights this evening, and I saw one canceled and one delayed flight, so not too bad. This morning, the Orlando International Airport tweeted and said commercial operations will end at 4 p.m. ahead of Tropical Storm Nicole. This impact, this impact is some passengers here causing their flights to be canceled. And that's what Rhea Smith dealt with today. She was coming from Houston to go to Orlando, but had to change her flight to Jacksonville and plans on driving to Orlando for an event. She says when she heard about Nicole, these were her first thoughts. I was first sad because I know Florida just got hit with a hurricane not too long ago, and I had friends who lost a lot. And so it was really sad to hear that another one was coming so soon after the fact. And also we have a competition going on, and so I didn't want that to get canceled either. Coming up at 6, I talk with a passenger who worked the flight may be canceled and what she gives advice to other passengers uh, to look out for when they come to the airport. I'm here live at the Jacksonville International Airport. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News, on your side.